Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So it's time for your Bronze Pony wrap up for the month of October. So for those of you who are new or may have missed some tutorials or having trouble navigating the playlist, at the end of every month I pull out some pieces I've made and I share them with you in a short video. So I'll also link the tutorials to the pieces in the description box under the video so you can find them should you want to make some. So sometimes I'll tell you about changes I've made or additions to particular pieces. So this wrap up, I do have a little change that I made. So I think you're going to love it. Um, so this month I've dedicated the entire wrap up to the Stonehenge Ancient Runes Collection pieces. So obviously, <laughs> so the Stonehenge Ancient Ruins Collection is a collection I curated with the Eureka Crystal Beads a while ago. So it's very near and dear to my heart. You guys also loved it. And um, I'm so happy to take a look at the goodies that I've chosen from this collection for you. What I wanted to share with you is the Ancient Ruins bracelet. And this was so much fun. And you guys absolutely loved it. I want to show, here it is, um, just laying out. But I just wanted to show you on the wrist how beautiful this is. And we call this the power bracelet. A little Wonder Woman-ish. <laughs> I love it. I made one for a friend and we wore ours together and I don't know, it just felt so good. It felt like this, like, you know, like woman power or something. I don't know. Although it could be worn by a man as well, I think. So anyway, here it is. It all cubic right angle weave. We've got some pearls, some, this beautiful 16 millimeter cushion cut stone. All of these beads were from the Stonehenge Ancient Runes collection. Here's the back. Such such a pretty, pretty piece and not hard to make. I mean, you know, there's a little bit of a challenge involved, but really, I think it came out so, so pretty. And I'm thinking we've got to make this into a necklace, you know, a pendant with a necklace, a cubic right angle weave necklace, maybe. So I'm working on that. So that may be coming up. Okay, next up, we have the Moonrise Pendant. And this pendant came about um, because the collection sold out and they restocked it so they asked me if I would add a couple of designs on so I did add on the moonrise pendant and the earrings so here's the pendant I just think it's so so pretty again I love the colors you know all the colors of the um, Stonehenge uh, ancient runes collections is what it looks like and then here we have the earrings because I know like you you know most people like a go with or you know a little set so these really pretty earrings. You can even use this small one as a pendant as well. We've got these beautiful drops. Now I believe the the Aaronite drops came with the um, collection, but I just do some purple ones I had here in my stash. So here's that little little set right there. Gosh, I love all that tanzanite and green. Isn't that pretty? And next up, we have the Morning Mist Wrap Bracelet or regular bracelet. So here I made a regular one with beads from my stash, and these are the colors from the collection here. So this is this is what it looks like, and this was so much fun to make. Really, really, you know, just like different and and just fun to to connect these. Um, chatons and you know make these little bezels and such so really pretty you can do the single as well or you know you can add beads from your stash whatever and you can um, make a, a triple would be pretty too or a necklace I never thought of the necklace I could do the, a necklace as well and actually put a drop maybe add one of these um, the pendant to the necklace that would be cool too I wanted to, just because I'm you know I'm kind of intrigued that there are more things I can think of look how pretty that would look as a necklace for this for a pendant so this is the earring but you can use the huge pendant the you know the really big one or just this one isn't that pretty I love that so again you know the it's the I the designs that keep on giving like I keep thinking of new ways to put these pieces together sacred ground earrings and I made these in so many different colors and gave them away I just love this bezel I think it's so pretty and putting these together like this I'm thinking gee could we put four together and make a beautiful pendant that could be gorgeous so again I keep getting ideas on what else I can make using these beautiful stones and crystals so are your earrings, sacred ground earrings. Next up we have the Standing Stones bracelet. And these are the colors that came in the collection. I just love this one. I think it's so pretty. Look at that color of that Rivoli. That's Green Sphinx, I think. That's what the back looks like. So, so pretty. Really love it. I loved it so much I made it in several colors. I love the Tanzanite as well. I think that came out so pretty. So there's your Standing Stones bracelet. Oh! 
and my kitty. So here's the standing stone necklace. And this is the one piece. I'm sorry, my little kitty is trying to, he's just laying down next to me. And every once in a while, his little paw comes over. So the, the standing stone necklace is the one that I changed. And all I did here was is I added this drop. So originally, here's the necklace. And when you put it on, it's just beautiful just that way. But uh, many of you did mention do we need a drop on that? And I thought, no, I don't think so. But then I put the drop on and look how beautiful that is. It makes such a difference. So I use the um, sacred ground earring component because I think it just looks so beautiful with the, the closure on this and the colors are all the same. And look at it with the the standing stones bracelet. Such a pretty, pretty combination. And I put this, I wore this the other night out to dinner and it just, it looks so pretty with that drop. Even my husband, who, you know, is not usually very vocal about my my um, pieces, said, wow, that really made a difference in that piece. So <laughs> I, I agree. I think it came out great. And thanks to you guys for mentioning it. Here's everything. And you can see by that I really enjoyed um, curating this whole uh, group of goodies because I made doubles of so many things. But I really love the idea of putting that drop on again. Thank you guys for that. I love the idea of using this as a pendant and just make this um, particular piece longer and you have a gorgeous pendant and necklace. So I hope you enjoyed this little look at some pieces that I made that I just wanted to share with you again. So I want to thank you for being here. Take care and I'll see you in the next wrap up.